Hello, here we are again. Um, I'm going to look at uh, the collision problem I have with um, the new bouncy alien I implemented in the last session. Um, because, well, it's not that important, but I think I really would like to have um, attributes for the enemies. Um, so I, I run a test today and uh, yeah, without attributes, uh, it means I also have to remove the, the attributes for the explosions related to this enemy, um, which is it's okay. But I guess it's not as nice. So I've been thinking about it and it's probably not that difficult actually to get the collision detector detection good enough so we don't get uh, in the background and we don't have the problem with the attributes. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to put the attributes back. So it's going to be, uh, no, I don't have that open. So let's see. Yeah, I'm using C tags. Um, so it means that until I have the content I want to access in, in context, it's not going to autocomplete. So and now it does. Um, right. So, mm, good question. Is that how it works? Maybe there's something I could be doing. I don't know. Let's go. So, let's use yellow um, and it's, um, it's bright or uh, paper. No. Oh, right. yeah. Okay. So that is for this attribute. So this is for the enemy, and then we're going to to restore the white one. That is the one that we expect for for the player. Um, so that should put the attribute back into the enemy um, and I don't need to change the the width of the sorry the height of the of the sprite because it's the same one is very hard to see see okay so we can see here we got into two different background types and that is because I mean, this is something we I could have done in the last session, but so I was tired, and sometimes you need to iterate. So you know, get something that that works, and you know, the next day you can do something different. So at the moment in here, what we're doing is we are checking to two points for collision. So let's take a look to the sprite of the actual. Oh, by the way, um, I added one extra frame to the animation, so it looks nicer. So this one is being duplicated in here. So right. So the moment we check in, we are checking uh, one point. So for the y-axis, we're checking this one, and for the x-axis we are checking this one I think is that right no that's not right <laughs> let me actually see yeah okay so yes so for the X we check in um, if we move in left Checking this one, we will right, we check in this one, for why we're moving down, we check in this one, we have moved this one. So at the end, we check in only two points. Um, but I believe we should be checking two points per axis. 
right? So we sure that we are not hitting. I mean, in reality, no, that's not actually true. I think it's going to be three. Because if we, we use two, because uh, um, the minimum size of the dial we have for collision is eight per eight pixels. If we only use two, we could still have a tile in, in between those two points. So we need to check three, and one of them will be common. So, so three per axis, which is six points, and one is going to be common, um, which sounds a little bit too much. Let's see. Let's try it and see how much, you know. I mean, it's probably okay. It's going to reasonably enough. I mean, we, we don't have that many enemies or many things we're doing at the moment. But um, if it's too much, we can think of a way of doing it. So this is actually checking the left. So we need to check this one and this one, I believe. Right, so in this case we have to check is the same y and 15. So that will be three points for x. We're going to check only, you know, depending on the direction, uh, this three or this three. And for the y, and this is quite simple. So I think we're going to do a couple of things today. In this session so let's get this one first so this is going to be zero yeah it's the same because they basically square so and yeah. right so that should that should do it Yeah, so as we can see, we are, okay, so they are not changing the background anymore. And if they don't change the background, oh, oh, ah, oh, of course. <sighs> yeah. So it's the stairs, right? The steps of the ladder can ride. So let me think what we can do about that. So, so we currently have, so map, map is blocked. It checks for everything that is solid, but the ladders, which are not solid. So I guess we could be using this version. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't remember how this works. <laughs> so what is tile ladder? Okay, yeah, so it's 46 and the other one is 48. So this cover this other case. So I guess we could be doing um, we could be using the version that is down which, and with that the enemies won't be able to get down the lines which is okay yeah not getting down so that solves the problem so we never affect the background so we can just keep the colorful expression I mean they are not so colorful you know some color they are no they are not just the color of the background so which means that <laughs> we can use the stairs right to protect us from this enemy. Is that okay? I mean, it's true for the enemies that move with a fixed path, right? I 
I don't know. I mean, the other option is basically um, grab the grab the background color uh, instead of setting it fixed to white and preserve that. Which means that I will need to keep. So it's going to be. Four, six bytes per entity. You know, plus the time of having to grab those, store them. Hmm. I will think about that. I mean, for now, I think this is definitely better. So I'm going to keep it. Um, I was not. I was not completely sure. Yeah, okay, so no use any materials. And, and because I was not completely sure. A good idea. I was working in the branch, so now it's back. Yeah, I had. <laughs> I was. I made a commentary and did certificates for explosions, and yeah, I didn't like it, so I had revert to that. And better collisions now use enemy attributes. That's what we want. Um, so we back in master. And that should be okay now. Yeah, colorful explosions. The enemy moves nice. It moves actually nicer because there's an extra frame now. Which is actually a little bit confusing because um, in Juice and Gamma, I used only three frames. And I think it looks okay. Maybe it's the type of movement uh, because the way the sprite rotates and it's always moving down the screen plus the scroll, maybe it kind of hides the fact that a frame is missing. I don't know. Uh, but I think this is absolutely fine, it looks great. Right, so we have done this, which is, I didn't know it was going to be that, that easy. I mean, assuming that this is correct, but it looks to me that it's correct. Now, we're checking six points per entity. Is that, how slow is that? I don't think it's a problem, but so, how many? So we have eight entities as as limit right now. So so ten entities, eight entities. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm move this one. Have one more. And for now we can remove this one. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's layer eight. Uh, not quite right because when I use the blaster, but anyway, we're just checking. If it makes things slower. Yes, it does. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it makes things slower. But it could be as well that, you know, there are sort of enemies anyway. 
that's not realistic anyway. Uh, oh, okay, so that's a problem. Changing the color of the pickups. Okay, sorry, oh, I had opened the, the tile window. Yeah, that's one of the downsides of only having one screen and doing all this stuff. Okay, so let's look at it again. So yeah, sorry, I just left uh, tiled open. Oh no. So if I have tiled open and I blow that, do you still see the emulator? No, you don't. Maybe I should change the order of things and move the emulator on top. Anyway, I will try to not make this mistake uh, again. But yeah, see, it's slower. And it's also there is a problem here because yeah, it's removing the attributes of the pickup. Um, so we need to fix that. Yeah, I knew this was not going to be as easy. Right, so we're back to here. Yeah, and we didn't see that. Um, we didn't see that when I was working on the, when well, we were testing it, because the first thing I do always is get the blaster. <laughs> So that's why we didn't see it. It also depends on how the enemies move. But yeah, okay, so you can see that already. It's already changed the color of one. It has already changed the color of one tile. So that's not right. Mm shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to move things around and move the emulators up. So if for whatever reason, <laughs> yeah, I'm fiddling a little bit with the configuration of OBS. Right, so if I leave <laughs> something in the way, you can still see what I'm doing. Anyway, um, so that's a problem. That's a problem. Performance is, I think it's okay. We can just leave it like this. We're not going to have seven enemies or, yeah, that's that's a lot. That's not the space in the, on the screen anyway. So, although, you know, I can revisit this, obviously, and I may, it may make it a little bit cleaner. As in, one obvious improvement could be, um, just at least remove one of the checks or maybe make a special is map block uh, that is doing a better job checking things maybe you can check several points in one go and obviously I can write this in assembler it will be faster the problem I have now is with pickups. So if there is a pickup on the screen and the enemy touch it, actually let's change this so it happens easier. So for, I don't know which direction goes this one. Do we put so this is not doesn't have it, so if this goes up or down, I don't remember. Or left or right. Let's try like this. Basically, so it's easier to reproduce instead of waiting for the enemies to actually hit. Okay, now, nah, but they're both going up. But anyway, uh, right. So. What can we do about this? In the easiest way <laughs> would be for the aliens to not touch 
You could be there. Let's take a look to the tiles. In tile, it can be. Um, so, no, these are meta tiles. That's not what we're looking for. Mm -mm -mm. Here. So, this is the tiles we have. So, <clears throat> the objects go before. All right, okay. I know what can we do. Okay, so for the player, the player is not going to alter the attributes of the background. So for the player, the pickups are not solid, so you can touch them, and then I can detect that you're actually touching them, and you can collect them. But for... the enemies we could be doing that any tile that is not zero is solid and that's going to be very efficient the problem maybe is that we're going to use a little bit of memory but that's okay for now I mean what do you want the memory for just use it and if you run out of memory then we can deal with that problem so so is Mac map blocked? How do we call this? So it's going to be just this. And the moving platforms are not going to be solid, so I'm going to keep this. So it's as simple as this. Now, how do we call this? It's map blocked enemy. It's map block attributes. It's not the best name. But it's going to be a big one now. Back to the alien. So let's change this. Let's see. I think that's enough. Um, and yeah, it's basically going to to. See, it's not going to touch the pickup, <laughs> which is okay. I mean, if you are not watching this and you don't know why I'm doing it like that, you're probably not going to notice. Like, um, and it's definitely cheaper than storing the. Storing the background uh, attributes and then restoring all that stuff, right? Be careful. All right, yeah, wait, wait a minute. I can actually run it without removing that. Should work, right? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, so. I mean, actually, I think that it's a little bit of a slowdown. Uh, with four enemies, five enemies, that is a little bit of a slowdown. I think it feels a little bit slower, right? Not a lot, just a little bit. And actually, uh, in the player, as you can see, sometimes I get in the in the background, see, like here. So I guess we could improve as well the collision detection for the player. But I think it's probably not worth it. As in, I don't know, it's okay. 
So, we fight enemies. This is probably the slowdown is because of uh, drawing without... Yeah, see? When I'm drawing the fire, it slows down. It slows down a little bit. And I think it's because the way I'm drawing things without buffer. Without back buffer, so... Um, maybe? Or it could be... Oh, sorry for the pipes. Or it could be... Yeah, I think it's the way it's because how things are being drawn. Uh, but I think it's fine. I still think that it's that's that's a lot of enemies in one screen, especially these ones that bounce around. Uh, I think it's from the point of view of level design, it's not that useful to have that many. So that is now complete, right? Um, so okay, avoid Uh, right, I think that's fine. It looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I think it's fine. Problem solved. And yeah. Um. And the same thing happens for the the blaster see I, you know that was going under these blocks here because I'm just checking I think two points for the collision so yeah I mean it's basically that's why you can go faster just do less things so we check less points uh, it's not drawing yeah I, I think uh, there must be something else. There is something funny in the... Yeah, I know what it is. I think it's probably in the blaster. And it's because the blaster, the blaster is checking for creations in a way that is very expensive, and it kind of goes off the roof because it has to check against every single enemy. So. I guess what I did here is because I wanted the blaster to be fast, so I wanted to move four pixels. Uh, but then, no, that's not true. It's moving eight pixels at a time, which means that it's too fast, and we risk missing a collision and then you know missing a wall and that's not good so basically i <laughs> sorry we're doing more detailed checks and this is too expensive it can be like this and especially because checking the enemy so the problem is this code here if i remove this <clears throat> so that goes makes things see there is no slowdown now 
because it doesn't have to go to the list of enemies. See? So this is very expensive. Why is this expensive? Because I changed my mind and I'm using a list. I'm not using a list, I'm using an array. So you have to go through the array of eight units every time. So this is slow. Can we miss an enemy if we do half of the checks? <clears throat> I don't know if this is a good idea. Uh, can we miss an enemy? That's the question. Let us not slow down now. So at least with, uh, you know it can manage now because we have reduced to half. So basically now, uh, right? So we move two pixels. Actually, can we miss an enemy because the enemies are sixteen by sixteen? So if we move eight pixels we can't mix an enemy right so these can be here Is that true? This is one of those things that I test now. It looks like it's okay. And then when I have a beta, a beta and beta and we have to test with a with the tester, it turns out that it doesn't work. I mean now it's bet it's great. Okay, so it has to be that we are very close, right? Uh, I guess. <laughs> I don't think we can miss any. Now we can. I think that code was silly. <laughs> Right, one last test. Um, let's get back to um, oopsie. I really did it can be like that. Let's do this. And let's go. Okay, a little bit, but I guess in this case is is because throwing, not because checking for, because oh, not really. It, it really makes a difference. If there are more enemies, well, not a lot, but just a little bit. For example, now. Yeah, with 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 three, it was definitely. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I think it's okay. For now, I might change my mind. <laughs> For now, I think it's fine. Um, so basically, 
um, we're always going to go max entities. So it really doesn't matter if we have you know, all the entities in use or not, we all will have to check them all. Now, the difference is that if the entity is the enemy type, we're going to check these two things. So we're going to check the point, which is two, two calls to this thing here, that is a candidate to be written in assembler, for sure, uh, because it's critical in here, right? So when we call this, yeah, Okay, so more enemies, this will be run more times, and that means slow down. Yeah. So check for point is a candidate to be converted to assembly. I mean for now it's fine, but okay, so let's do only this one. Which is basically Right, cool. So, yeah, this was unexpected, but it's fixed now. Right, so I think we might have time for one more thing because I want to keep these sessions um, uh, kind of short, like 45 minutes, which sometimes is going to be quite limiting uh, in, the, in the type of changes I can make sometimes you know it's going to take longer or um, or you know I might need to think more than today um, but I'm going to try to keep it to 45 minutes and I'm actually wasting time saying this but that's the basic idea um, what it might happen is that in between sessions uh, in between videos I might continue developing things you know adding things to the game but I think one session of 45 minutes with one feature or two is probably okay. Which means that I probably should be stopping here, but there is another thing I want to add. Um, and it's going to be support for colors, for attributes in the map. And for that, we're going to modify Uh, the map importer we currently have one special that is for the fixed um, for the fixed uh, property so what I think we're going to do is we're going to have one that is going to be attribute and if we have a attribute and um, is is not known then it's going to be uh, whatever is special plus uh, wait a minute I, I need this So attributes is known. So we have an attribute. Um, if the special is not known, it means that we have already the fixed special, which is one value. We'll convert that into a list. Otherwise, special is going to be an attribute. And it will be added to the entity. So that means that we can go now into tile and here we can say attribute 
and we can say for example six is that right and what is the um, what is the value of rate right is 64 so 64 or 6 is going to be 70 All right okay so that's going to add the attribute and that means this alien one now is always going to have because we have this uh, extra here that is going to set the it's going to set the attributes so if we go to the alien one so it's going to be extra oh it includes right already so i'm going to use only oh okay forget about that we definitely don't want to include the right we want the attribute to be fully controlled by extra now so it means that it's going to be one extra um, to one extra byte in here so we're going to increment two and it's going to have the attribute right and it's going to be right and well whatever we provide if we say 70 okay yeah, that's yellow. Excellent. Cool. So if we change the 70 to be one less, 69. That should be, I don't know what is, what is five, magenta? Uh, no, cyan, okay. Let's see if it works. Of course, I don't work. There you are. So we can control now the color of this enemy. Which in reality is not <laughs> it's not a game changer. I think uh, why not? We can have now enemies with different color. So that means that if I want to use magenta, it's going to be 64, which is 40 or uh, no, magenta is three, so it is sixty-seven. So I'm putting the sixty-seven. You can see that. That should be it. Cool. I like it. Stop killing me. <laughs> anyway, nice. And potentially we could have the same for all enemies, but because no, because nothing, we can actually have it. So, well, at least on this alien, because we're not using extra for anything. So instead of this we could use we could use him oh sorry an entity extra and force this one to have attribute which means that in tile we need to put the attribute otherwise it will crash because uh, so it's going to be attribute and it's going to be 
70 for yellow, which is the one we have already. In this case, attribute, and it's going to be, for example, 65. All right, so, and 65 is going to be, so 64 plus one, wow, okay, blue. It's not going to be great. Okay, let's use 66. Okay. So let's try that. No, it breaks. Why? Because in here, now this has one extra byte in the attributes and it's not five <laughs> that's silly it's four because this is not a fixed one so it only has the attribute cool uh, we have colorful aliens now <laughs> Ooh, and they overlap, they don't look great, right? It's because they basically, you know, they're fighting each other to set the attributes and restore them when I erase them. So that's why they look funny. But I think it's fine. There's nothing much you can do. Actually, there's something we can do. Uh, we can just not, don't fix, don't mix uh, two, mo two moving aliens, I guess. Because if they cross path with one of the fixed uh, pattern, um, it's not going to be that much that they share space. So I guess in that case it will be okay. Ooh. Anyway, I think it's perfectly fine. Right. So so uh, two changes to two attributes we added um, yeah extra without the bright extra without the bright and see Python code is a little bit looks great. So Okay. So I think that's going to be all for this session, which is almost 45 minutes, not bad. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been interesting. Uh, I mean, the game is still in kind of early stages, so it's likely that when I'm working on something, I'm going to find issues like, uh, you know, that those extra checks in the blaster because when I put the blast the blaster in, I was I was testing it. I didn't really test with many enemies, so or maybe it was simpler enemies because um, the bones are now it checks them up instead of using a fixed pattern, which is quite cheap compared uh, to that. Um, so yeah, it was not fully tested. So we're going to find things like that, and and you know you have I have to fix them. So. But still, it was a good session. Um, I implemented both things I wanted to implement today. Both of them, recently, you know, it was simple things, no, nothing co too complicated. Um, yeah, but it was a good one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, remember to like and subscribe um, so you don't miss the next video. I think you need to click something like a bell or something, or no idea. Anyway. See you next time. Bye.